give the floor to Mike quick, uh, and then we'll open the floor to the rest of you. Coach, open and Okay, so just again, as Matt said, want to thank everybody for coming. It's a great night for hockey, fun night to be a hockey fan when you can get out and be a part of the weather like this. We're excited to uh, enjoy the night together and, and uh, probably have some fun tomorrow too. So I told the guys after the game, we, we've been a lot in these situations lately, but tonight felt different on the bench and you just knew that we were going to win the game somehow, some way, especially after John scored his goal. And I really thought the guys did a nice job in the third period. Mercyhurst is a good opponent. Uh, again, I think they're one of the better teams in the league, and, and our guys proved a lot to themselves that they can take an opponent like that. So uh, a good job by our guys. It's fun to know there's a couple of purple, uh, past purple Eagles in the, in the stands tonight. So fun to have them here and, and see what we're building and see where we're going and live up to their legacy. Uh, I thought the guys continue to be committed to the mission uh, that we've been handed as players, obviously, but again, as people, what they did, how they responded, and then we mentioned last night how well these guys are doing in the classroom, so it's fun to see. Defensively, Cole was, was good again tonight. I thought he made some key and timely saves. Chris Harper was plus four. Noah Delmas blocked five shots, and as a group, we were really committed to each other, so fun to watch. Uh, special teams was huge for us, especially the power play goal. I thought that really kind of got us going, and then last night we received a question on uh, when they pulled their goalie are we going to get better? And I thought we were much better at that tonight than, than last night. Uh, Coach, you mentioned uh, there's been some other games where like the goals gone in the last minute or even the last couple seconds of the game. Uh, what, what changed about tonight? Like, what was the difference tonight? Well, I think the energy on the bench, you know, we're, we're a minute, what do we say, a minute, 16 seconds, 0.04 away from five more points than we have right now. So it, it, we're right there. We just need to keep pushing. And, and I thought you saw that. You knew it was going to tip at some point, and tonight I thought was the, the tipping point. You mentioned Cole's game. Uh, I, I thought he made some, some really big saves. You know, he let in for it, but he also made some big saves. What do you, what do you like about his game? Well, I like his competitiveness first. He, he competes. I, I think he's had really good Velcro, too. Well, we pucks hit him and stick to him and, and stay with him, which I think is really important. And then I, I like his, uh, he, he's had to battle to earn this opportunity. And he's waited and he's battled, and here he is. So. Well, you, because you have Brian Wilson, too, also has had some, some really nice games for you. Yeah. Is it just kind of a thing where, where he earned the starts and given him a shot? Or? No, it was it wasn't a gift. Uh, you know, I thought uh, Cole earned it, and and Brian uh, has been really good for us. And and uh, but Cole earned this opportunity, and and uh, he ran with it. Johnny, you so you ran on the third goal and the fourth goal. Like what what was your feeling in the final place? Do you think you guys could come back from that four two deficit? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, before the the game uh, in the TV screen on uh, in our room, coach had some values up there that uh, I think Phil put on for us, and one of them was uh, optimism. And the definition was like uh, learn from your mistakes, and like the bet is the best is yet to come. And I think the guys, I saw them all reading it. And I think the the bench was optimistic the whole game, and we just had a good feeling. I think a couple bounces. Uh, it's probably not a four two lead for them. So I think uh, and once we scored, the bench was feeling a lot better. Gotcha. And Ryan, for for you and your line, you know, going into that third period, you're up five four. What, what's yep. the mindset? Uh, basically, just uh, trying to play well away from the puck. Uh, you know, we've been struggling uh, before this weekend to put up offensive numbers a bit, but we've really been uh, focusing on playing away from the puck well and just doing whatever we can to help the team win. And yeah, we really focused on that. Uh, Coach, you know, you, you, there's highs and lows in the season, obviously. Like, uh, now you're, you know, you won two in a row. Is, do, you, do you try to keep the guys like on an even keel? Like, don't get too low if you're not winning, like, don't get too high? Or, uh, what, what do you say to the guys? Well, it's it's about consistency, right? And just just being who we are and, and staying on our mission. There's there's highs and lows in a game, good calls, bad calls, goals for, goals against, four two leads, come back. So, it's good practice. I think hockey and, and sports in general is a great teacher for because life's hard, man. These things go your way, and sometimes they don't. And hockey's a great teacher. You just got to keep keep doing what you do and be consistent and get out of bed every day and get after it. Last one, uh, and last one for you, coach. You know, that's a fun game for fans to watch and for me to watch. Uh, as a coach, do you enjoy that back and forth and, you know, those kind of things? Or would you like to see it a little? Yeah, no, I, I love it. I believe in Atlanta hockey, we're leading the league in goals. And to credit to the guys and, and how far we've come. But it, it's fun to play that way. Are there some things that we want to improve defensively? Well, 
I wouldn't be a coach if that. Yeah. <laughs> these guys will tell you. But it's yeah, it's fun to play. We we want to play a fun style so that you create fans that way. You create players that make plays, and you move guys on if you can make plays. So it's it's an exciting brand of hockey. Credit to these guys, and, and they're doing a great job with it. Thank you. This time we'd like to open it up to fans. So if anybody has any questions. Question for Johnny. Um, you guys, I think, were getting outshot 5 1 in the second period when you went 4 2. I know you mentioned the board in the locker room, but after that, you outshot them 16 4 for the rest of the period. Was something said on the bench about what was going on during the first few minutes of the second period? Um, I think coach could tell you too. Like I think the the energy was pretty consistent. Uh, they, they had a little bit of a push, which is going to happen after last night and after any break. And I think they probably wanted it for a couple more minutes. But we, I thought we kept we like we say on the bench, bend but don't break. There was a little bend there, and then I thought like the the second half of the period we took to them. So that's where Cole comes in handy, and a lot of guys uh, make some big plays. Yeah, it was really good. Uh, I've been playing with Ben here for the last couple weeks here. Uh, I feel like we've been playing well, but we've been struggling to put the puck in the net, I guess. But uh, finally, it was working out last night, and tonight again, we were getting more opportunities. So it feels good. Just uh, keep working hard, and the chances should come. So it was good. Question for Coach. Was there any focus on face-offs during the first and second intermission? I believe it was 7 to 21 going into the period. but. You guys responded well. It looked like more of a team effort in getting to those pucks after the face-offs. Yeah, face-offs is a, is a priority for us. It's something that we've worked on since probably the second week of the year that we've really made a priority. So, you know, we're not – we didn't hit the numbers that we want to hit tonight, but I thought we won some key face-offs at some important times. Any other questions? No, just again, appreciate you all being here with the weather and I've said it before, but appreciate you guys being here and being part of the, the movement, not a moment. So thank you. Have a good night, everybody.